Hey everybody, this would be video number 11 in our series in slide guitar licks and the tuning of open E. Uh, for this lesson today, we're going to use some behind the slide fingering as well as some string combinations. Um, just a simple lick. It's a shuffle. Uh, I thought we haven't done a shuffle in a long time, so we'll do a good old shuffle on this one. Before we get to the lesson, today's shout out goes to my good friend Dan Jeffries at Merrick Amplifiers. Uh, lately, I've been really into the small boutique uh, builder business. Uh, you know, I, I love these small guys. They're building stuff by hand, and it sure does sound good. Today, we're going to run the trusty old Eastwood through my little clon bag here and then into the honey badger right here. This is a seven watt piece of pure joy. I feed that down to a Stevenson base ported cabinet so I get that bottom end. Kind of like it, I, I like it when it's got some big, big thickness. So this is a great little amp that uh, Dan Jeffries builds at Merrick Amplifiers. Um, this one here is actually an old uh, Hammond amp, I believe, that he's modified, put back together, and thrown into this beautiful Tolex case. In any case, wonderful amps. Uh, I'm very lucky. Dan lives a block from my house. He fixes all my other amps and other guitars and everything that I have no idea what I'm doing with. He knows what he's doing. And he graciously has built these two amps and said, here, go try these out. This isn't a paid endorsement. Um, I just love his amps, and he's loaned me a couple amps to try here, so we're using this one today in the lesson. All right, so stay tuned, and we'll take this riff apart. So this riff begins uh, using uh, the low strings, uh, and I'm going to give you the both variations right now. The first variation of the riff is going to be... We did this in a Weisenborn uh, lesson a while back. So let's just get it quickly. Uh, the first variation, we're going to just use our thumb on the fifth string, fret down at the second fret, uh, and then use our index finger open on the fourth string. Okay, so just a simple. And then end it with the thumb on the low E string, which gives us the octave. Okay. Now the second variation is going to be that trusty old Dwayne Allman style lick. We've done this a few times in other variations. Okay, so we'll just do that quickly. We just use our uh, index finger at the 12th fret, second string. Gently slide it down, simultaneously plucking it. Okay. Thumb on the third string. About the 10th fret, maybe 11th fret, slide back up to the 12th. Okay, one more. And then just finish with the thumb on the 4th string 12th fret. Those are both variations. I'll show you how we put them together as we go. So, now the first part of the riff is simply a string combination. Uh, we'll slide from the 11th fret to the 12th fret uh, using these three strings. So we just, we sort of lead it off with plucking the thumb on the low E string at the 11th fret. So we just, okay. And then we use the index and second finger combination. So, and then use the thumb again. So like this. And then we lift the slide, as we, we learned in the last few lessons. We're just going to lift it off the third string. And then we're just going to use our index finger at the 10th fret on the fourth string uh, behind the bar. So it sounds, the, the chord now will sound like this. Kind of a seventh, right? And then we end it by... Um, bringing the slide back down to the 12th fret on those two strings we've lifted it from. So it, it ends like this, and I'll play this slowly. It's, it's probably easier if you just watch this. Okay. Um, 
So, and then we slide that all the way up to the 15th fret, still leading with the thumb. So, and then back down, always leading with that thumb on the bass string. This is the one that's driving the truck. Okay, so let's do it slowly before we move on. Okay, and then we uh, repeat that again. Um, however, I think we'll do that in the second part of the, the riff before we get to the, the fifth fret. So. And then again. <laughs> Sorry, and then again. And then we get down to that fifth fret. So let's just take it slowly one more time through, and then we'll break this up in the second riff. Okay, that's the first part. Probably a little difficult, hopefully not. Uh, we've been doing this behind the, the fret stuff for a while now. We're behind the bar stuff. But uh, stay tuned for the second part, and we'll tie this whole thing together. Now, the second half of this riff uh, is uh, not difficult at all. We'll just, uh, I'll show it to you right away. Um, what we do is we now take the, the slide down to the fifth fret. We just kind of slide into it, those uh, same three bottom strings, same three finger combination. Now, this is where it gets tricky. We lift the slide. Actually, let me play the riff for you first so you see what we're doing here. We're just kind of creating a seventh uh, note chord there. Okay, so, so uh, let's take this one apart. I don't want to get too confusing right off the bat. So we slide in to the fifth fret, lift the slide just off the fourth string. So you should, this is, this is the way it is uh, with it on the string, should sound like that. Now, we, we take our second finger and fret on the fourth fret, fourth string, right? And we're doing the same, same leading with the thumb as we do for the whole lick. Then we come down on that fourth fret, fourth string with the second finger, and then we come down on the third fret with the index finger, fourth string. And that gives you your seventh. Now it's a little bit tricky, it might take some practice. Uh, I still <laughs> follow it every once in a while, even now. Um, but let's just do it slowly. Okay, one more time. Now, this is where the variations come in. Uh, we'll just throw the variations in right now. So the first variation off the top of the song would be, and then to start the lick over again. Now, the second variation is that uh, sweet old Dwayne Allman style lick. Okay, and we learned this at the top. Okay, so let's play the entire riff through, uh, and then we'll get to that jam track. And I'll play the riff twice, giving each variation so you have an idea of what, what I'm talking about here. And then we start the riff over again. So that's it. Stay tuned for the jam track. The, the jam track's a little bit faster, I think. I can't remember for sure. Um, but anyways, it's not too difficult. Stay tuned.
Thanks for joining me today uh, for this lesson uh, in the tuning of open E. Um, and again, Merrick amplifiers. The honey badger is a beautiful thing. It's a seven watts of pure joy. And I'm slowly falling in love with this amp in this room. Um, and as always, if, if you are enjoying these lessons, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Dan Walsh. Tell your friends, we're going to be here a long time. Ontario just went back into lockdown number three. So here we are. Take care, folks. Stay safe where you are, and we'll see you real soon. <laughs>